Hey yo bro, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are asking the question, what if Terraria had more classes? Now in modern day Terraria, aka 1.4, we have four classes in the game. And those four classes are Melee, Ranger, Summoner, and Mage. And obviously all those classes, they got subclasses and stuff. We're not going to talk about that. We already did videos about that. But yeah, those are the four major classes. But what if there were more? You know, we had a taste of a little bit more in 1.3 when Relogic originally was going to add in a throwing class, but they kind of gave up on that idea but thanks to mods we have throwing weapons added in here shout out to the calamity mod and shout out the thorium mod as you can see they have a lot of items on both of their own takes of the throwing class the calamity version is called the rogue class as you can see here the weapons do rogue damage and then thorium sort of just took the throwing class as their own and just you know it's just thrower class throwing damage it's pretty much like it never left but yeah we're gonna check out quickly here these two classes classes obviously there's a lot of stuff to check out from both of the mods i recommend you guys play through both the mods you can do literally do throwing from beginning to end and post moon lord if you play both of these mods because both these mods have post moon lord content calamity has a lot of post moon lord content and as you can see he's got a lot of armors for the rogue class thorium also has a lot of armors for the throwing class but yeah quickly let's check out some weapons from the class that's the main thing we're gonna check out throughout this video as you can see thorium has so many throwing items same thing with calamity i only took a the super high damage interesting ones well there's a lot of interesting high damage ones i just grabbed random ones but as you can see i got all the thorium weapons here and oh my god there's a bunch of them and that's not including these ones in here too and that's not including the hard mode ones that are non-consumable and then that's not including the techniques which is a little special ability for thorium storage class but yeah let's take some of the higher up weapons here let's show them off because that's that's really what we want to see here so let me just grab a couple of them no specific reason why i'm grabbing the ones i'm grabbing and let's just see him here against this skeleton and i guess i'll test them out on a boss too but these are the non-consumables meaning you don't consume them uh you can use them infinitely the thing with thorium is non-consumable throwables do have like a little cooldown you see the little bar at the bottom uh, and if you throw too many you know you do less damage something like that which is a nice way to balance non-consumables but then you got all these ones which are consumable and uh obviously consumable means you'll have to restock on them you'll have to craft more of them you'll have to buy more of them you know it's just how like a lot of weapons in terraria are but yeah let's check out these other ones here these are a lot of good throwing weapons you know it's kind of hard to make throwing weapons unique sometimes because like what do you do with them you throw them that's really it but yeah let's check it out on a boss here these stronger weapons we're gonna summon in the king slime i think i'm in eternity mode why not you know it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah let's check out this one dd's fork this one is like the late game of the late game for thorium so this is going to be the one we're going to test out here and it does a lot of damage as you can see obviously the king slime does not stand a chance against it but yeah that is the thorium stuff right there let's move on to the calamity stuff so we can get a taste of everything here also there's a lot of accessories same thing with calamity there's a lot of accessories there's a lot of good armors now we get to calamity's rogue class here calamity has a lot of armor sets like this where it's an armor set and then all the helmets are different Different. uh they're just like the hard mode or armor sets how they have different helmets that apply to different classes calamity has a lot of that and then they also got their own armor sets that aren't like that like these ones are here their own armor set these ones are here and then we got some ore ones where you can change the helmet but that's not what we're here to check out we're here to check out the strong weapons of course we got this one penumbra look at that just 1600 damage something light we got a plasma grenade beautiful that was really loud for me sealed singularity supernova okay he died from the singularity but look at the effect on the supernova that's awesome that is a very cool animation uh we got the wave pounder what the hell does this do i have no idea i th I'm think i'm missing something i need like a battery or something to throw that one we got one of my favorite weapons from calamity period and that's the triactus true paladinian mage hammer of might what a name we got the veil diction we got the scourge of the cosmos we got utensil poker what an interesting name wow look at that am i literally throwing utensils we got empyrean knives beautiful but yeah let's go ahead let's test this out on a boss too we're gonna fight golem because the golem is straight up wearing like a sans outfit look at it <laughs> we're gonna use multiple weapons here if i can at all the dude's kind of like regening a lot of health that might be because of eternity mode but we do more damage as you can see 
obviously we do more damage come on calamity mod the calamity mod has a lot of post moon lord stuff so of course you know a lot of this stuff is gonna be strong as hell but yeah there you go there are the two throwing classes i wanted to cover here and now we can hop into some more interesting classes i will probably have a video in the future going more in depth in both the rogue class and the throwing class because honestly i'll probably make a video of what the thrower class should have been and it should have been what thorium did because thorium has such a good take on a bunch of throwing weapons here like look at this this is one of my favorite ones the bowling ball it's a bowling ball who doesn't want to throw bowling balls at stuff but yeah let us hop into our next class here all right so the next mod we have installed here is the expanded centuries mod the expanded centuries mod doesn't just add in more centuries it adds in its whole own damage type along with its own centuries as you can see century damage you know centuries in regular terraria they just do summoner damage and with the 1.4 update they didn't add a single century somehow so that's what we got mods for right but yeah let us go ahead and check out some of the stuff here of course it comes with its own armors it comes with a bunch of ore helmets it also has a lot of cross mod compatibility and then of course it has a bunch of its own accessories and obviously a bunch of centuries it adds in throughout the progression on top of that you know a bunch of the centuries they do different things they're not just all turrets believe it or not you know some of them some of them are pillars spiky pillars and when an enemy walks into them guess what they take some damage some of them are legitimately turrets you expect this honestly we got the betsy turret here very unique and cool we got the hmg turret which uh, what does hmg stand for i don't know we got the magnetar deployer places a floating trap that shoots out homing projectiles that go through walls this sounds strong as heck it is but as you can see there's just like a bunch of different variations in the centuries which makes it very unique obviously vanilla terraria does not have that much variation in the centuries barely has that many centuries at all just think about it if the old ones army didn't exist they never did that update there's like four or five centuries in the game total i really don't know why they didn't add in anymore during the 1.4 update especially since a big part of 1.4 was making the summoner a good class or at least a class that can be as good as the other classes and keep up with them yeah as you can see we got a lot of cool centuries i actually did do a playthrough with this mod a while back uh some of it's on this channel some of it's on the uh second channel where i post the full live streams so if you guys want to watch that playthrough go ahead it, it was very fun it was very unique i really do like doing playthroughs of different classes and i think that's one thing we're gonna do in the future all the time because it's just a fun and new experience but yeah on to some more classes thanks to the thorium mod our next two classes i don't have to install another mod we have the healer class and the bard class both of these classes are support classes that can do their own damage the bard is a support class that ups your stats every now and then certain stats will up you know like crit speed a bunch of other things and healer well guess what healer does but yeah we got all these cool healer sets now the cool thing about thorium's healer armor sets is that there's a subclass and the subclass is like a dark healer subclass where you can give up instead of you know healing your allies you can do some damage which i always thought was a cool thing as you can see some of these yeah they look like a healer wouldn't wear like why is a heal healer wearing some cthulhu armor i don't know why is a healer wearing a warlock set i don't know that's a really cool thing about thorium's healer and then the bard class again Again, a support class that ups a bunch of different stats depending on what instruments you're playing but let's check out some of the items and stuff uh let's start with the healer stuff the healer stuff does radiant damage so let's see it in action we got lucidity releases a crescent tier in reality half the life cost is given to your ally with the least health so you lose health but you're giving it to your allies with the least amount of health so these are really good for like decent sized group playthroughs obviously you probably can run through single player with them but it'll be a little bit tough uh the healer class i did do a multiplayer playthrough with a long time ago and it was nothing compared to what it is today same thing with the bard i've done the bard class two times i finished only one of the playthroughs on the channel the second one i kind of stopped like halfway because like it felt kind of hard because at the time there wasn't as many bard weapons but now there's a lot more bard and healer items so they should be doable solo if you want but yeah we got the omen if i say pentagram of returning demonic energy half the life cost is given to your ally with the least health again 
giving your allies health that's what the healer class does believe it or not and then there's just a bunch of different weapons that help you apply the health reality slashing nearby enemies are rapidly torn from reality i, I don't know if this actually heals anything but it's a cool weapon to say the least like look at this thorium has like a whole subclass with sides like this and then we got a bunch of other ones like look at this i think you stand inside of this and you get a buff or something if you stay inside of it, it will completely heal you if you take fatal damage that's amazing very unique but yeah, let's check out the bard stuff here. I took a bunch of the stronger weapons, including a jar of mayo. And as you can see, playing empowers players with bonus aquatic ability and jump height. So a bunch of random stats will be buffed as you play your little instrument. And as you can see, you got this stuff, which is sort of like mana. It's called inspiration. And then you got the other thing over here in the top left that shows you the stats. And it's just like super unique overall. Who would have thought instruments would be a great class? Thorium did. That's who as you can see this one i think if you play to the rhythm you do more damage something like that you don't play to the rhythm you make a fart noise hilarious right but yeah this stuff is like all new i don't remember seeing any of this stuff back when i did a uh, playthrough with thorium so it's very cool to see that they added in a lot more unique features and stuff but yeah really fun class if you ever do a big playthrough with your boys boom you want to be a support class boom a useful support class and not like melee support where you're just tanky for everyone but yeah i think we should check out one more class and that will be it for this video maybe we'll do another one in the future checking out a bunch of more modded classes but let's check out this next one here the last class we are checking out here is the druid class from the mod of redemption as we can see the druid class adds in a lot of armors here and the whole main point of the druid class is to bring the powers of nature to life and to do damage with flora fauna nature creatures whatever as you can see some of the armor sets really are cool looking let me actually put some of these on this like wisp armor set looks so cool but not only that you got like this shade armor set like what the heck reminds me of the enemies from kingdom hearts and then you got like this lost soul set looks really cool too it's just a lot of unique armor sets overall it's a pretty unique class in general but let's check out some of the weapons here the main weapons in the druid class are the staves the staves the staves and also the seed bags now i did do a small playthrough of the druid class i only got like a couple episodes in and i just stopped doing the series that was at a different point in the channel so that's why i never finished the series on that hey it comes full circle i don't finish series now right but on top of the seed bags and the staves you got a bunch of other unique weapons weapons also in here including these like spirit weapons which i'm interested to check out but let's start with the staves so as you can see they all have like their own little description some of them have like a big description like this guardian info now i believe what the staves do is like some of them summon in like a little pal yeah look at that if you right click you summon in like a little pal little sentry little summon sentry and they also do their own little special thing uh let's whoa i kind of want to see that attack now you gotta aim it a little bit there you go god 1800 damage uh some of them i'm assuming summon summons a john lightning bolt maybe that's the summon right there <laughs> Uh, we got the wall one. This one, I don't know if it summons in uh, something or not. This one's kind of hard to aim, low key. We got that Xenium one. Xenium, very cool thing in this mod. Or Xenomite, whatever, something like that. I know it's a big theme in this mod. Plays a big part in a lot of the bosses and stuff. But yeah, I chose like bad options. I chose like all the late game ones and none of them summon in a minion like this one did. But like a lot of them do summon in a little minion to help you out, a little guardian. Next up, let's check out the seed bags. I personally really enjoy the seed bags let's start with this one the star fruit one tosses a seed that grows into a star fruit plant let me see it wow <laughs> so yeah you throw out little seeds and then they grow into stuff and then that stuff does damage it's so cool i like the idea uh we got this titanium bloom seed bag there's a seed that grows into a sparkling titanium bloom let's see it okay maybe not the greatest one i mean it doesn't do 300 damage like this one uh we got the vile thorn one i'm assuming it does what vile thorns do and that's stab you with vile thorns uh the enemies might be a little too strong in this world that or i'm just not wearing armor sets either uh and then we got the water leaf i didn't choose like the weakest ones how did i end up choosing the weakest ones there's a seed that grows into a moist water leaf who doesn't love moist water leaves <laughs> 
And then we got this one, Xenomite Canister. Throws a seed that grows into a Xenomite Shard. Ooh, I like this one. All right, and then let's go ahead and let's check out the uh, miscellaneous weapons here. We got a Pocket of Sand. What do you think a Pocket of Sand does? <laughs> it does exactly what you expect. You throw sand at things. I feel like it should give like a confusion effect or something. It does slightly reduce defense. That's not bad. Uh, we got the Angelic Fan here. Throws a bunch of knives. Wow, that's pretty good. A uh, Giant Dandelion. Cast down Giant Dandelion Seeds from the sky so if i hold it right now and then i stand on the button boom look at that dandelion seeds coming down that's such a cool weapon next up we have mitosis throw a petri dish filled with bacteria ew that is i would never want to get hit by something like this if somebody threw this shit at me i gotta kill him it's it's a fight for life or death right there uh and last but not least here the last one i chose brinildra if the bolt comes in contact with an enemy a leafless tree sprouts out of the ground beneath okay Let's see it. Okay, that tree kind of grew a little far back. Oh, there you go. And last but not least here, we are checking the spirit weapons. Whoa, if I hold this one, I get like particle effects coming off of me. Let's start with this one. Spirit, bunny in a bottle, releases a spirit bunny. Is that it? Okay, I thought it was gonna do something cooler. See, the thing is, I don't know if I need to be like wearing an accessory or something to like help these out. Cause you see, it says minimum spirit level zero, maximum spirit level three. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think we do need to wear an armor set here. Ah, yeah, as you can see, some of them give like spirit levels. So I'm gonna put on this wisp set here and then uh, now the bunny should come out. Yeah, look at that, okay. Game Raider's using his brain, I figured it out. Let's see the squirrel. The squirrel more of a ground unit what the heck just like bigger squirrels what the hell <laughs> uh we got wyvern in a bottle this one has to be good come on oh oh it's like a stardust dragon that's awesome uh and then we got the other ones here ancient warshipper talisman summons a swarm of skulls when max spirit levels reach summons a lunatic version dealing heavy damage to all nearby enemies whoa let's see it in action whoa what the heck that summoned in a dungeon spirit. Interesting. And then let's see shade bound. Holding this while an enemy is slain has a chance for a small shadow soul to spawn from said enemy. The higher your spirit level, the greater chance of a small shadow. Okay. Very interesting. I kind of want to see this shadow spawning. I don't know if my spirit level is the highest. I'm not wearing any accessories or anything else that would help it. But like just messing around with this class makes me want to do a playthrough of it. Because I know the modder redemption is still an underrated mod. A lot of people don't know about it. But it's an amazing mod that people should play through. But yeah, there you go. That answers the question of what if Terraria had more classes. We saw a bunch of unique classes. Some that support other classes. Some that are just super unique and use the power of nature to fight things. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out all these mods they're all great mods and make sure to do a playthrough with the classes the classes are all really fun you can do full-on playthroughs from beginning to end it's just very very cool to see that mods are creating all these unique classes there's so many more unique classes that we haven't seen yet maybe we'll do it in a future video check out some more but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video hope you guys are enjoying game raiders month i'll see y'all next time